Hello everybody, this is Elias and I'm with EH Tech Support. Today I wanted to do a quick video to show everyone how to do a landing page, one of those types of pages for people that are network marketing, that collect email addresses, um, and all that good, good stuff. So um, it's all going to be done in CSS and it's going to be done on the website CodePen.com. So if you don't know about CodePen, make sure to visit them. They're pretty good and you can do a lot of different designs and different things that can help you if you're a network marketer. So let's go and create. So we'll create a new pen. Very simple and straightforward. Um, so we're going to use only HTML and CSS in this project. So the first thing we'll do is create a div, a container div, where um, everything that we put in goes in. So uh, this is going to be basically a big box where everything goes. So we're going to call it container. Very basic and straightforward. And uh, we're going to close that out. Close it out. Div. Perfect. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll we'll create um we'll put some CSS on it. So um, we're gonna call, we're gonna copy this container since this is a class. Put a dot, and we're going to basically add the text, the the CSS the CSS to it. So uh, the first thing we'll do is put a let's see a width width of uh, eight hundred. So a height of eight hundred as well. We're gonna put a background of uh, gray, and we're gonna change that, but it's just for now, just so we can see a box. The next thing is the border, and we're gonna make it a dashed, and we're gonna make it. Four pixels. Uh, let's actually make it three pixels. I think it'll look better. And we're gonna do the last thing, which is black line. Now you can make this any color you want. Um, I use this color because it looks nice. But you can make a, a red. You, know? you can make those dots red. They don't look as well. Maybe if you take out the gray and you put white, it'll look better. Yeah, there you go. You know, we'll keep, we'll keep it just like that. I'm kind of liking how it looks. I might go back and change it later on, but I just for now it looks it looks nice. So I'll um I'll do that, and then I'll, I'll also center that box. So margin zero also. Now now we have it in the middle here where all the information is. So uh, the next thing is we're gonna create another div, and this is gonna be a div class again. And um, since we're not using this div, I'm going to also make it disappear for a second. And then if I need, if I need it later on, I'll, I'll go back to it. So we have a new class, and we're going to call it the header. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm calling it like that because for, it's for it to identify where the information is going to be. So later on, when you're, when you're putting information on this, you'll know exactly what to do what, what information goes. I mean, where the information goes. So right over here, we have, uh, let's see, let's put a, uh, one of those catchy headlines that they use. Uh, sign up and receive a free ebook. And so, we have this class to Heather. So now on top of here, this doesn't look that appealing, right? So what you want to do is you want to go in here and uh, add the class. And we're going to change the font size. And um, let's see, font size. Font size, I don't know, let's see, 20, 60 pixels, something like that, 60 pixels. It doesn't fit, so we'll put 55. And that'll work, okay. And it's also centered, that, that information. Uh, let's see here. Um, to center that information... To center that information, all we have to do is enter, let's see, align, text, and we're going to center. Align, text, center. I mean, also do something else uh, with 
kann. Ne? Sixty pixels. There should be aligning, unless I miss something. So let me double check to make sure that I'm not missing anything. It could be that I'm missing something. And uh, let me see. Text. This text aligned. That was a line text. A lot of times these codes change, um, or it's, just, it's probably something that I forgot myself. You know. No, I think it's text aligned. I don't know what I think of it. Some text. There you go. So yeah, this is my mistake. Text align. So you see, it says now it says sign up and receive a free ebook. And um, I'm only doing this for identification purposes. So we're gonna we're gonna um, let's see. We're gonna put a background color color on this. Only for temporary basis. So just only so you know how to map. Because if you don't know how to map, then it's hard to uh, to know where things go. Gray. See? And I made it 60. Let's make it 65, I don't know, just to make sure. So the whole box is filled in there. Right, so now you have a center text here. Um, let's see, you can go and uh, you can put some gibberish in there. Uh, let's see. But to put that gibberish, you want to put something else, so why don't you actually 75 it, because, so, it, so you can have some space later on. Not 75, not 75. Ah, do 85, why not? Okay, just, you know, just to, to add a little bit of space to it. Okay, now we're done with that header, we're going to put it away. We're going to put in here um, another div. Did class and I'm gonna put um I'm gonna name it Heather two two and we're gonna just give you some nonsense stuff again I am not a network marketer I know I only know a little bit of that but I I'll, I'll probably just put something that looks sort of sort of interesting I guess so it's sort of similar to what you would put in. Um, if you were doing that type of stuff, so I'll put in. Um, we have all the secrets revealed, and, and we'll reveal them to you if you enter your email in the box below. Again, the same thing. Uh, you can change it to the. You can actually change the font size. This is header two. Go down here to your CSS again, and that very simple. Boom. And um, width eight hundred. Height. Let's see. I'll put a height of 30 pixels. Just only for now. I may change that later on. I can't, uh, can't uh, make any promises, of course. <coughs> text align. You can turn to the text. And it actually goes like this. Align. Two. Let's see, center. Oh, another mistake. An H. I put an N for some reason. Line center. With height and uh, let's see, header two. Another thing that I wanted to do here, and it's very, very simple. 
Sometimes you just have to copy things and it doesn't. Okay, no, it was the same one. With height. Uh, let's see. Put a background too. Just to ensure that that box is getting the treatment that it needs to get. Sometimes though, <coughs> headers, sometimes it could be a mistake like this, as simple as that. Okay? So you see I notice up here, I uh, put a, wrong, a mistake on the code, and that can be a problem. So, um, you want to make sure to watch out for that, because it can be a problem, and uh, font size, the next thing. The good thing is once you make something that's yours, it's yours, and you can do whatever you want with it, you know, and so it's very nice for that reason, because it's not something that you created somewhere else, you know, where this and that, you know, you, what you have done, it's, it's all you, you know, and I can take the red out now, but you see, let's make it into a 60, just to make sure that it looks, that's okay, 60. Not 600, 60. And uh, 60, maybe 70 actually. And then with the, with the background, you can actually change it into white again. You see? Same thing applies to here with the gray in the, in the header. You can change that to white as well. Okay. Find it for a free book. See how the text looks so much different now? You can also change the color uh, to something different. Maybe you can change um, you can change it to a blue. So color, so the, the color of the text over here. Uh, let's make it into a blue, right? Why not? See? Changes the color to a blue. So you'll have, um, you'll have something that looks interesting. And you can design it however you want it. But it's just, it gives you a clean HTML that you can download. And, um, and test for yourself. So once you do that, you can um, uh, put more information there. Uh, let's say that you want to you want to create another div. You may want to create another div. So I'm going to do it actually a little bit faster. I'm going to copy this and do the same thing for that. Let's see, so that's a, that's a close div right over here. Get a new div. And we're going to actually call it Heather 3. And I'm just going to say, use the proven method. I don't know, something like something that uh, one of those network marketer guys would do. Use for limit. Uh, it's a limited time only. And again, the same thing, use the same thing for the you can text align it. I mean, yeah, text align header three. Limited time only, font size. See a font size of twenty five. Limited time only. If you want, though, if you want to have more space between these boxes, you can also actually just make it higher. Make it make make the the second one make it into an eighty. You see, or you can even make it into ninety if you like, and that gives you more space. No, not nine hundred ninety. See, it gives you more space, and then you know you what you you can put a um. This is enter the the, the the enter your email in the box below. If you want, if you if you're using a program like you know Aweber or something like that, you can actually you can actually add another one and continue doing the process until you design the thing that you want. But it's basically the same thing. If you once you you know you finish with these these headers and you want to. Put something else. You can do the same thing. Create a, create a div. 
div. Uh, let's see. So, not like that. Div class. You can name it. Uh, let's see. You can name it email form. Boom. And um, the email form you can actually. What you can do is you can actually put a box in there on the email form. You can enter the code that a AWeber gives you here and have that really nice designed menu. Um, not, not menu, but nice designed email collector. You can add some text at the bottom by continuing to do the same thing that we've been doing here. And uh, once you do that, then you know you can put you can put a box. I can you know I can I can give you an example of. Uh, Another thing you can do here with this box, which we call the email form, you can you can make it like this. You can, you know, I'll give you. Let's see, one last thing here. And uh, with, you can give it a smaller width of uh, let's see, I don't know, four hundred. Uh, let's say five hundred ticks, fills. Five hundred uh, five hundred pixels, and you can give it a, a height of three hundred pixels. Background, a background of uh, this new gray again, just for the example. Let's see, email form. Uniform width 500, height 300, background. Okay, my mistake. The background. Uh, you can center, you're going to center that. Margin. I don't know if you, yeah, you should be able to center it. Uh, and you can edit that little box right there now, and it makes it look really cool. Again, with this one, if you want more space, um, you can put a, I don't know, a height of 90 pixels. Use it more space. Put 70. See? You can put a YouTube video here. You can put a sign-up form. You can put just about anything in this form. You can change the size of it. You can change it to 700 if you'd like. See? And put a full YouTube video there and play it. You can put a, a sign up form. Um, another thing you can do that a lot of people do is let's see, um, you can put a border in there too. And you can make it, make it instead of dashed, you can make it dotted. You see? Dotted, and you can, let's see, you can change the, um, let's change the color to something. You can, do transparent and uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see, maybe a green, an aqua. Let's see, something attractive that you think is that obviously to your choice. Um, you can put that there, and it's really really interesting stuff. You don't you don't have to put anything and just put a sign up form that you created at Aweber. Um, I believe we should be able to do the, well, let me finish this, this uh, border that I was doing. So, dotted, uh, let's make it uh, three pixels, enough, three pixels. And you can change the, the dotted, you can change the color of the dotted, you can change it into orange. You see? Any color you'd like. You know, you can, if, you, if, you, if you're good with code numbers, you can put something like this, you know. Four, four, five. I, I don't know that many codes, but uh, numbers. But you can change the code number. I'll just do one that I know, which is F F F F. I don't know why it's not doing that, but the default is black. But you can change um, if whichever reason. I, I'm not sure why it's not doing that. I guess F F F is white. So let's see F F F F F F. I think the no, FFF is white. 
I don't know. I actually don't know colors on the, on the code, but you know, you get the idea. Color. You can put red. You can put orange. You can put green. See, it changes a different color, and you can you can do that. Um, so it sh shouldn't be too much of a challenge if you want to change this uh, border and you want to change the border into something different, the container border, you can actually, um, you don't have to actually put a dash. You can take the dash out and it'll become nothing. Um, and you can stay like that. Um, it's totally up to you. Again, I'm just showing you the stuff, how, how the, the simple stuff that you need to do to make sure that you can get this done. And that you can do it for yourself. You can, it, it's all entirely up to you. Once you're ready to do it, you can actually download it. And that's what's nice about this. You can actually download the file. So once you save it, you know, and I'll actually save it so you can see. It's a file that it downloads. And uh, let's see. I'll call it landing page. Page, not pager. I'm getting older. So now that it's been saved, as you can see, you can download it. If you go export, you can actually download it as a zip file and uh, upload it to your site. You know, and it's it's really cool stuff. Since I had since I had a border here, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna call, put a solid line on it. You can put a solid line. Uh, you can round the the border over here if you want. Uh, it's very simple, you know. You know, it's called the border radius. And you can let's see, put a ten pixels. The border radius. See how it, it does it? It's um it's probably better to put a setting of five just so that it doesn't look that bad. As you can see all the corners, they look differently, you know. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and again, I just wanted to give you a, um, a little little tutorial on how to do this. Um, again, you know, where I said here that you can download the email for, the email form. It's very simple. I'm going to put a link to this code pen so you can download it for yourself if you ever want to use it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it on my page. Just because it's being featured in the video, and I want everybody to be able to download it and look at it. Um... You can also you can also copy it to your code pen if you like, so that'll help you out as well. And um, that should be it. So signing off. This is Elias. Uh, thank you for watching the video. You can follow me on Twitter at eliasq, um, and make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel on YouTube. I'm gonna have a lot of cool videos, and I'm gonna focus a little bit on the uh, on the marketing and internet marketing. If you're if you ever want to become an internet marketer, I'm gonna focus on that to help you out, and we can go from there. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.